head up to uh, Gigo uh, for our weekly check-in with the Mayor Rudy Mazzanotti. Mayor, good morning. Hi, Mayor. Good morning, Chris. Uh, so morning, what's Sabrina. Good morning. What's the latest from uh, Gigo? Well, we're still ca- trying to catch the pig, and we've been catching deer. <laughs> and uh, still a lot of problems about identifying, uh, you know, the the positive of the coronavirus here in Jigo. You know, I would like to know uh, exactly where these people are. I don't even know their names. You know, I can keep pretty good secrets. Mm-hmm. Most especially if it has to do with uh, the safety of the people of Jigo and the, the island. Right, you know, I know that uh, when we saw that spike, I think it was 11, uh, during one of the press conferences, I want to say it was uh, Public Health Director Linda DeNorsi. She indicated that she had gave you a call. Yes, she gave me a call before she was interviewed uh, a week ago, a week and a half ago. And that was for the 11, right? That spike. Yes, and yes, yes, and I, I know it has it somewhere around uh, almost the middle of Jigo. You know, I don't, these kind of things we don't want to really. Uh, uh, you know, say out in the public where it's at, it's, uh, it's just mi- mixed feelings on as far as the concerns of the safety of the, the people. Mm-hmm. But still, you know, I think that uh, certain leaders like, like the mayor should know, you know, about what's going on with their constituents. So we can do uh, as much as possible, you know, to keep them safe and, you know, the 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 positive people and also the the people surrounding the, the areas where they're located. Mm-hmm. Do you know Did what area it is, Mayor? Middle of Chico. Oh, sorry. Uh, somewhere around Route 15 and Mariana's Terrace. Mm. But, yeah. you know, I keep hearing that it's somewhere else. And I, I hope that... Uh, Mrs. Denorsi, you know, is, is listening and maybe she can give us more details about, uh, about that because it's all up in the air. Mariana's Terrace and Route 15, okay. Yeah. Before uh, Gaginero Road or after Gaginero Road? <laughs> it's just around Gaginero Road. <laughs> Lana, you might as well drop no, us the pin, Mayor. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it always feels good, you know, to, to know what really is happening, you know. It kind of builds confidence and uh, gives the person responsible, you know. Mm-hmm. Did, uh, did, uh, the, did the public health director say that uh, it was connected to any sort of a barbecue or a, a party? Yes, yes, that's one of them. Mm-hmm. That, that That's actually the one I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Did she say it was affiliated with any um, uh, religious group? No, okay. no, she didn't say that. Just that it, there was a, some sort of a party that happened. What, yeah. kind, what kind of party, Mayor? A barbecue. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of party it was, Chris. I'm very sorry. You know, uh, yeah. uh, sometimes mayors aren't uh, privy to those kind of information. Right. Yeah. Even though the, you know, I think we really should. Mm-hmm. You know, well, when we get that information, you know, it's, it, we can, I, I'm, I'm willing to work with the authorities I need to work with, you know, but when they keep me, uh, you know, uh, out of the loop, it kind of makes, makes it look bad for, for our, our village. You know, when their leader don't know what, that, you know, what's happening and where it's happening at. You know, mm-hmm. uh, that, that was one of my concerns, you know, when, when that first started, there mm-hmm. was uh, about maybe a month before before I knew that there was another, the one that you're talking about, Sabrina. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they don't. And I, like I said, you know, in previous interviews, I hope that they, you know, they got a trick up their sleeves, you know, and I hope that the people that are involved are, are, are safe with those kind of, uh, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. you know, those, those you know, kind of uh, secured uh, uh, techniques. So the, they, they, the former mayor of, of Chico, Bob Lazama, I thought he was like the 
the liaison with the governor's office and the mayor's council of Guam, you haven't been able to uh, check him and ask him, hey, what's up? Can you like uh, well, you get know, the governor to uh, be a little more transparent here? You know, he comes to uh, be- before the COVID-19, he's always in the meetings and, you know, that's, you know, Sabrina, I, I hate to say this, that's his job. And, you know, he's supposed to let everybody know that should know. Mm-hmm. And I know Bob, you know, and he knows that I should know, but he he doesn't mm-hmm. give me a call or at least if he doesn't want to talk to me, call the office and let the office know. And maybe give me a number and I'll call and I'll try to find out myself. Yeah, Mayor, mm-hmm. this is something that a lot of your uh, colleagues on the Mayor's Council have been uh, complaining about since the start of uh, COVID. And, you know, I realized that Robert Lizama has a boss and and I don't know how or what kind of communication they, they have about certain things as, as important as this. And... You know, I understand, you know, when they, because there's a lot of things that they're doing if they forget, uh, but they must hear things, uh, conversations that, you know, people should, that people, that should have the conversations. Uh, and that's exactly what we're doing. And, you know, I wish that some, somebody in the, the front office is listening and maybe, Robert or the governor forgot that there's a mayor in Jigo and that uh, they should think that the mayor should know about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Because if it has nothing to do with the safety of the people, I really don't care about knowing about these things. I got a lot I got a lot of problems in Jigo that I have to take care of, let alone, you know, something as important as this and people are keeping it away from us. Mm-hmm. Mayor, what about your uh, village over the weekend, right? this It seems like we're gunning it for the reopening. What are the people of Jigo doing? Are they are they having the big gatherings? Are they, uh, is it back to normal in your village or what? You know, it, it looks that way. But, you know, Chris, uh, Sabrina, I want to emphasize, you know, the, the importance about this animal that's roaming around the island you know we don't want to mess with it and we don't want to lift all these restrictions too fast right now we've got everything to gain but if we should and you know these these things are new can we make mistakes so it's better to caution on the safe side you know and just slowly start opening because I don't know how, and you know, Jigo's going to start, start testing uh, on the 3rd, which is uh, Wednesday, up at the gym, and it's going to be a drive through But every every village on this island should be tested. And that's not, we don't even know if we're doing the right thing, because this is the first time we've ever, fa- uh, uh, you know, faced something as, as, as bad as this. But it's it's better that we everybody gets tested and we know where we stand because that would give us kind of an idea of how to move forward with this. Right. Because if we pick up the restrictions too early, that might be the worst thing we can ever do. And like I said, there's there's everything to gain and nothing to lose to slowly and be careful about what you lift here because we don't even know who's carrying it. And as far as we're concerned, you know, every, like maybe every two weeks they find, and I don't know the, how the, uh, what the exact statistics uh, uh, are, but I'm talking about the same thing. You know, there might be a lot of people out there and sit fit, they're just kinda, you know, like look at what happened when they when they mentioned that they found 11 we didn't know anything about that we don't even know if 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 there's a lot of infected uh people here in jigo dedido no jigo and dedido the the most populated uh uh, village on the island and you know it's dangerous there's probably a lot of people that have this but Thank God they're they're not you know roaming around and going to parties or stuff like that. 
You know, we are, I have a, a, a first cousin that passed away. We have rosaries, okay, at, at their house. But we try to follow as much as we can what we can do to prevent any infection. You know, we, we sanitize, we, we keep the distance. Uh, when we set up the chairs, there's six feet away every chair. Um, but I told my, my, my nephews, you know, there's, we have a lot of families that, that live together. And sometimes, you know, and they, sometimes they laugh about it. I have a nephew that has about, you know, uh, maybe four kids and, and a lot of grands. So those, those family can stick together, you know, but they, but we try as much as we can because we don't want to cause any problems that are, uh, that we have already, you know, to try to infect anybody that comes to, to the rosary. We try our very, very best. To, to keep the distance, to follow the rules, wash our hands, uh, and all that good stuff to, to help prevent from spreading the disease. Good job, Mayor. It's good to lead by example. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, you know, and I tell my, 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 nephew, my niece and nephews, you know, to try to spread the word, you know, be leaders in your own way and, and let everybody know that this, this is what we're doing because this is very important. You know, it... it we're not messing around with with something that we can see. We're messing around with something that that is going around, and we don't know if they're right next to us. So we have to do our part and try to be safe because of our because of everybody that we care for. Right on. So your message, uh, Mayor: Be safe, be careful, observe the distance, and wash your hands. Right? Yes. Okay. And you know, always ask questions because. You know, I know a lot of things about this, but I keep asking questions, you know, to better my knowledge and to better, you know, uh, lead the, the people in, in the village of Jigua and the whole island for that matter. Yeah, hey, asking questions, that's kind of what we do, Mayor. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And if there's anything, Chris, that you know that I don't know, please just call me up anytime. If there's anything that I know that you don't know, I'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> well, well, you know, for, for the benefit of the whole, the whole island, we will share important things such Amen. as you know trying to to conquer this animal right on thank you mayor thank you and uh i just want you to guys to know sabrina thank you for what you do you mm -hmm. know getting and uh, chris getting the messages out to the people because of course. we can we have to continue doing that amen and thank you and god bless hey, thank you mayor, mayor are you have gonna be you gonna be at the meeting is it this week wednesday right? yes. yeah yeah okay all right. Yes. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, so wash your hands. Take care. Okay. Always, yeah. always. Okay. Uh, Jigo Mayor Rudy Mantanani there, again, with an impassioned plea for more transparency yeah. uh, from uh, the government of Guam, specifically uh, public health.